Hello friends, uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to use jQuery Ajax uh, to fetch data from the database and uh, uh, show it in the uh, table uh, using ASP.NET MVC. So uh, uh, let's go ahead and create a project, new project. I'm using uh, Visual Studio 2015. So uh, name the project as um, MVC jQuery view all two. All right, so it's let's take the empty template and ch check the MVC. You might see this form different, uh, but you should be used to it. So try doing this. All right. Uh, While the project is loading, let me take you to the database and show you uh, what uh, database I'm using. So this is the table that I would be using and you can see the columns that are listed here. So basically it has a serial number that's a primary key and it's uh, auto increment and the remaining all are uh, and var cares. I hope the project has loaded. Let's go ahead and add a controller. Empty controller. Name it as home. Okay, while well the controller has loaded, uh, let's create an index view. Uh, empty without model and uh, I will be using the default layout page. Okay, the view is generated. Now let's try to run it and see if uh, the view loads properly. Okay, so uh, let me tell tell you. Even if uh, the view loads up, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, let me show you what is the issue here. If we do an inspect and go to the console, hmm, there is one error. You see this? Four zero four not found, and it asks me for the fab icon. Okay, in order to fix the fab icon, let's add a fab icon. I will take it from another project. Okay, so you should have a, a fab icon image, and I'm gonna copy that and paste it in the root folder of my current project. Okay, right click, paste. Okay, it's here, and I will add that into my layout. So the header section of the layout. That's not the proper format. Uh, I'll show you what's the proper format. Okay, this is the proper format. Okay, just uh, you need the path if you want to drag up and you see the path. Uh, and this is the proper format that you use for uh, uh, icon. Uh, that's a fab icon. Alright, let's try to refresh it and see if everything is good now. If everything works well, then we should see the fab icon on the top and uh, no errors there. Perfect. Okay, so now it's gonna uh, run all our scripts smooth and fine. Okay, let's go back. As we have already added uh, a view, uh, let's work on our uh, controller. Okay, we need a model so. Let's add an entity data model. Okay, let me fix up the web.config for the connection string. Okay, if you see this thing configuration error, then there is some issues with the schema. So I will simply use the schema. Okay, and this error is gone. Okay, now I need the connection string, so I already have it. I'm just going to copy that from the previous project. And the connection string is not here, so I will add it. Okay, 
perfect all right so um, that's my connection string I added it because I have to use it in my um, uh, data model all right so let's add the model model 1 okay uh, VS 2015 is picking up the connection string from my web.config and it's giving a default name for a new one I'll keep at uh, I'll keep that as it is and then I'll select my table okay let it be all give it a moment alright as the model is loaded so it's ready for use and uh, we are going to implement that so using the project name dot models and then fetching the database that should be the entity name db equals to new okay now that's ready uh, okay uh, I may not be using the index one but then uh, uh, where dot table name dot to list I'm trying to fetch all the records so now written view should have person list okay so uh, we won't be using this uh, index but uh, just uh, for my convenience I noted it down here All right now we should be using one more thing Newton soft uh, you have to add that new get package Newton soft soft dot json newton soft dot json dot serialization yeah, this what we would be using for um, the jquery thing now uh, uh, okay uh, we will add the table format so instead of noting down all I'm just going to copy that you can see this I'm going to paste it index let's remove this okay so what I basically have here is um, this one so this is the div classes for uh, bootstrap and it would give me a format and the headers of the table and then the body of the table uh, the body contains nothing because we would be uh, calling the results uh, within this tag okay uh, now I would be using a script tag uh, just like convenient for uh, .NET Core so it, uh, it can also be used in MVC so I will show you how to do that so basically it's at the rate section scripts and then inside that you can mention the script tag okay it would not accept this section scripts unless you mention or you render that in the layout okay so I will have to render that okay this is how you render it okay 
just above the body render section scripts required it's not required okay so all right so uh, my table is ready uh, the scripts if you want to you can see that okay so um, basically uh, fetching the data using a button click and the name of that button is btn get data and uh, when I do a click it's calling this function and uh, these are the format of uh, Ajax so uh, you can note it down okay now if this call is a success then what will it do um, the response has all the data and uh, uh, I created a variable named Feta <laughs> okay so um, it will have the uh, format for rows and uh, TDS table data and it will append to the uh, uh, this is the TPL person is the body of the table okay if not then it will give me no results let's save it um, all right uh, now let's try to run it and see well it loaded uh, let me show you what all we did here okay so the table class I mentioned table responsive table hover table bordered okay width I set it here and then the button is this one it has a btn success class all right let's uh, check this out and while we do an inspect on the console no errors submit I have a debugger now it will fetch the data huh. okay. get all is not that okay let me tell you we didn't mention all those things in the controller section okay so instead of putting that all I'll just show you what is there in the uh, controller that you have to put in okay so this is a uh, it's not letting me do it okay so uh, it's a JSON result and JSON convert is not coming up okay Okay, Newtonsoft dot JSON, and uh, we are serializing this uh, list data, and we should be deserializing in the mm, HTML. Okay, so response JSON dot parse here it's deserializing it again. Okay, if you if you don't need it, you can you can also remove that. Okay, but it's better to use it. You can if you have to remove then you have to remove both the statements this one and uh, the serialized thing as well okay sorry this one is not needed okay now let's try that again okay let's put it again start without debugging okay let's do a s uh, let me show you the inspect if we have anything do a submit perfect we got our data and as the class you can see that the hover thing is working no errors perfect 
it it added okay so we can do this like uh, we can remove that uh, you have to add uh, this one it's not working okay I'll show that to you in another um, video for the time being you can watch this one and uh, it's fetching our data alright guys so that was all uh, for MVC fetching data using uh, jQuery Ajax uh, I hope you have uh, noted down the code uh, nothing much just a JSON result and then returning that uh, uh, as a JSON again that's it thank you thanks for watching <laughs>